right. Is this uh, 3D? Uh, no. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. What, uh, what are we going to see? Um, I think you're going to see my boyfriend draw my blood. The boyfriend in the movie. Mm -hmm. Draw my blood right. and we kiss. X-Men. And, and then you kiss. Yeah, it's one of those romantic dates. <laughs> I know this is embarrassing, but this is how I watch that scene. I do, too. Like, I can't. To I, anybody crack. that sits behind me in the theaters just sees my head go. With my, with my friend Laura, and this year was the only year that I missed it. So I kept apologizing on every TV that I knew that she was watching on every channel. I was like, sorry, Laura. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but did you have linguine with her afterwards, or? I had a Philly cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. I didn't have linguine on the menu. And I mm. don't think my publicist would have allowed it, because there's only so much Spanx can do. <laughs> still can't have a conversation with Jeff Bridges because it's just kind of too much. Like, my nickname literally is Jeff Bridges because I'm so obsessed with him and I quote every movie he's ever been in. Really? Yeah, like, I'm, it's crazy. And um, so now that I see him, I actually took a cookie with his face on it. <laughs> and I didn't even realize that there was a cookie with, like, my face on it right next to it. I was just like, Jeff Bridges. <laughs> my childhood in my mind seems so lovely and just picturesque. And yeah. then I talk back about it and I'm like, oh my God. You kids stay away from them saddles now. <laughs> Get out there and break them bronze. That's for the rich folk. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she, like, I was on antibiotics. Uh -huh. um, and so anytime Why? somebody would say, just because I thought I was sick and I wasn't. And it was just, <laughs> now I'm still on them because I thought I was sick that one night. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a big mistake. <laughs> Were you ever thinking, you know what, if they don't call my name, this is... Uh, yeah. Well, I wasn't really expecting them to. I was kind of, well, I was just kind of watching the TV like this. <laughs> just because I was like, this is going to be so embarrassing. <laughs> if like all my family and friends are here holding bottles of champagne right. watching it. And then like, and we go through everybody and we're all like... Oh. Well, well, we'll pop it anyway. <laughs> I feel like if you change your hair, you look like an entirely different person. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you look gorgeous. Thanks. Yeah, my mom didn't recognize me when I first, she came to visit me on set and walked into the trailer and went, sorry. Looked me right in the eyes and went, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I just let her go. <laughs> um, yeah, right. I was like, are they going to make like a really weird yearbook? Uh, gosh, that was crazy. It was insane. I saw Helena Bottom Carter. Like right around there. Yeah. Helena Bottom Carter and Jeff Bridges waved at me. And of course, I thought it would be absurd if they were waving at me. So I just I just stared at them. <laughs> I stared at both of them. And then they were like, All right, fine. And I was like, were you with me? <laughs> there was nobody behind you but a wall. Yeah, I, I know. I was just like, really? Yeah, that was crazy. Because my parents were cheap, so they never bought trained horses. <laughs> so I, it was just kind of, I have a deformed tailbone, actually, from being thrown off of a horse. You know, I'd heard that. <laughs> but she doesn't like believe she doesn't she never believes in anybody being or at least her kids being like sick or hurt or anything like we would never take trips to the hospital like if anything we would just take a trip straight to the morgue oh really like, we were never hurt or anything i got hit by a car when i was 18 months old what didn't go to the hospital wait a minute <laughs> yeah. sorry do we need why to were up? you in traffic <laughs> why were you hit by a car at 18 months old i was adventurous yeah i guess um, so no, it just like kind of backed over me. Uh, it wasn't really hurt. But... It just <laughs> rolled over you and you went under I the... I didn't know we were going here tonight. You went... <laughs> you were in the space under the tires? I was... He was backing out and I was, you know... <sighs> Being 18 hit, months old? And then, yeah, and then I was, you know, 18 months Who old. Who was the person that ran you over? Our neighbor. Oh. <laughs> that's a bad neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it, though? But it turned out you were fine, and your mom didn't even take you to the doctor. <laughs> yeah, no. Wow. She was, she, yeah, she, just, she was like, I looked at your eyes. They weren't dilated. And you need friends around that if you ever start elevating, they can slap you down. Yeah, I got one right there glaring at me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> okay, what is a freak-out session with you? What, what does it look like? I, it's, like, embarrassing. Like, I... Fully went for it. I did. I was jumping up and down, squealing, really? smiling, really? hugging my mom. I did the whole thing. I was just a cliche. Oh <laughs> yeah. Right, I thought maybe I would act cool. I'd be yeah. like, all right, good, yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh no, no, no. It was I'm gonna go back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, yeah. I went full female. <laughs> my brother's called my parents actually and said she went to every baseball game and every football game and this is her football field Aww, or baseball diamond oh, or something really like that. Oh, that's really nice. So, yeah. So we all decided. And I always thought they hated me. <laughs> it was really weird. Um, so Maybe yeah. We decided it, yeah, they're really mean to You're me. You're the only girl in the family? Yeah. And a beautiful girl at that. Oh, thank you. So they were jealous. <laughs> they were obviously yeah, jealous of that's my right. blonde, long hair. Oh, all my gosh. You're telling me that your parents bought wild, unbroken stallions <laughs> because they were cheaper and let the kids loose on them? Yeah, 
they were busy. They had more things they to worry about. Busy. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> so then you had to break your own horse. Yeah, or yeah. my own tailbone. Now, in, uh, uh, were you tossed? Is that or kicked? Everything. <laughs> well, at one point, I, the, the horse was running into a barn, like an abandoned barn, so I had to just jump ship wow. and drop and roll. Yeah. <laughs> that was the deformed elbow. Now, do you, do you think? My mom thinks that she's a nurse. <laughs> really? Yeah, she thinks that she's like actually, she just got bored with the math part of medical school, she says. Uh huh. And, and that's the only thing that kept her away. So you never went to the doctor at all? I mean, I know people say, oh, we never went to the doctor, but when you get run over by a car at <laughs> a year and a half old. Yeah, no, I'm one of the real ones. You really like, you never, 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 ever went, went to a doctor. I don't know. Did you meet anybody? Well, the, yeah, the, the other famous people that you get to see, because like you are more famous than me, and you're interviewing me. No way, well, so first of all. Wow. No, stop that. <laughs> Maybe before all this happened, but now you are what, please now my, light my, years. Now my star meter is higher. Is that way, what you're saying? Come on, don't even play that with me. But I read somewhere in Esquire that the producers originally rejected you because they thought you were too pretty, um, too attractive. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it didn't have the right look. I like to say. Ah. In Kentucky, is it do they write uh, Western or English? <laughs> I sound like such a redneck. I didn't really we ride with a saddle. <laughs> <laughs> if we did, we had English and Western saddles, but my mom said that that was for the people who like board their horses there, so I wasn't allowed to use any of that. So mm -hmm. I just kind of hopped on and went for it. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> did anybody from the county ever come out to the house? To <laughs> Talk to mom and dad I'm getting, about. I'm getting. I'm going to get my parents arrested. <laughs> no. well, and so your mom didn't like you taking the antibiotics. Yeah. Every time someone would be like, "Do you want a glass of wine?" and I was like, instead of being like, "No, I'm only 20, stupid," <laughs> I'd just be like, "No, I'm on antibiotics." And every single time she'd go, and like scoff and make a noise as if I'm lying, as if I just like broke out of rehab. Oh really? And every time somebody offers me a drink, I'm like, "No, I'm on antibiotics." <laughs> <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Okay, you know your name just changed, right? Uh, yeah, because it will for <laughs> now forever be Oscar nominee or Oscar winner. Forever, <laughs> yeah, forever. Gonna, that's, that's how I'm going to sign it. <laughs> Everywhere, like right, in the right, doctor's right, office. Right, card, Oscar nominee, <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> you made the smartest dress choice of them all ever oh, because you. it was like a modern day Jessica Rabbit, sexy, slinky, gorgeous, but it seemed like comfortable. You didn't seem like you might die like trying to hold it up for thank you right? yeah i was really sick of trains and mm. tripping people and all that mm. stuff so yeah. by the end of it it's There's funny that it's you oh, oh it's yeah. gorge gorge <laughs> i love it uh photoshop i love it <laughs> <laughs> you. first job um i well other than babysitting <laughs> yes okay first acting job sure okay cool um i what did um an mtv promo when i was 15 14 for my super sweet 16 nice. on mtv Wow. And I was so famous in Kentucky. <laughs> that means that it's the origin story of how oh, the X Men came right. to be, of what we know them as of right. now. Yeah. And, 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 <laughs> that was and, and, and what do you, so what do, you do as most of them like seeing your movie and they come up to you and say great job or stuff like those sorts of things? No, not really. Not really? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, some people do, but most of it, it's just me going, <laughs> who, like, are you oh, most, uh, who are you most huh <laughs> about of all the people that you met there? I didn't. I didn't see it coming. I didn't expect it. But Brad. Well, I'm. Yeah, I did. It's Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Oh We're yeah. like two feet away from my table, and I was just. It. It changes you. <laughs> really? Like I have. I have heart palpitations. <laughs> I'm not. They should be king and queen of America. <laughs> I would pay taxes to them and not even think twice about it. I was just so blown did away. Did you talk to them at all? No. Oh really? No, of course not. <laughs> no. You just admired them. I didn't talk to them? anybody. <laughs> really? Nobody? Yeah, I was just like, yeah, no, well, I'm having trouble talking to you. You're the, famous too. Wait a minute. <laughs> I play Nora. Anton Yelchin and I are boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. As an X-Man. Are you an X-Man? Yes. What, I'm what, an x man what, what do you do? Um, I play Mystique. You're Mystique? Yes, so and, I'm a shapeshifter. Oh, sure, oh, sure, shapeshifter. <laughs> <laughs> Is it... Is it, is it fun to make these a big uh, uh, special effects? It would be if I could movies? actually shapeshift. That was my biggest flaw. Yeah. yeah. Um, did, now, did you lie at the audition and tell them you could? Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can play basketball, and I, I can shapeshift, yeah. and I'm blue. Um, 
<laughs> okay, and you, have you thought about the whole dress thing yet? Have you stopped? You seem like... I want to wear the Golden Globes dress again. It seems so weird. I could only wear that once. It was so pretty. I loved it. It was gorgeous. And, and I, I had to suck in because the ruffles were right here. What do you have to suck perfect. in? Come on. Yeah, don't pan down. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach. That's horrible. <laughs> um, what if, like, you pan down? I did. I'm like, it's huge belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Very yeah. Funny. No, I want to wear the Golden Globes dress again. You can't. I, can't. I know I can't. You cannot. What if I, like, cut the straps off or something? Just, like, kind of make it different. <laughs> like, shorten it. <laughs> Tilda Swinton was at my table. Okay. Which was, I couldn't, uh, gosh, every time she tried to start a normal conversation with me, I would just keep going, such a big fan. <laughs> I'm such a big fan of yours. <laughs> and she's just like, okay, um, so are you miserable yet? And I'm like, I'm just really tired. I'm such a big fan. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then... How many hours is that? About eight. And you have to stand there and nude and let either, it dry? Yeah, I have to either stand or sit on a bicycle nude? seat. She said nude, is that right? That is right. Yeah, nude. Okay. Nude, Reg, I said it. Just trying to <laughs> she said nude, Reg. Just trying to put it all together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, in okay. New York. I was um, I was watching street dancing, apparently very talentedly, and um, somebody like asked if they could take my picture. My mom and I didn't think that was creepy at the time, so we they inexplicably. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we took my picture, and then and then all these agencies were calling, and we didn't know what else to do, so we just kind of went, and then that's how it happened. And then boom, here you are. Yeah, it's one of those stories that like I don't like telling anybody because I just nobody likes me. It's like one of those things that doesn't happen. Right. You didn't work for 27 years to get there. Yeah, it's like not realistic, and I really wish I had like a gritty, like cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a gee whiz story. Though. I want to borrow Mark Wahlberg. He's be like, I was in prison for a little bit. And, uh, I was like 14, I was a babysitter, and then I became an actress. <laughs> had you skinned a squirrel before? No. Do you have to go to like squirrel skinning school? Because it looked like you knew what you were doing. I went to the Academy of Squirrel Skinning. <laughs> squirrel Skinning. Um, yeah, no, I, t I, was l I taught, um, I learned from a hunter. Oh, you did? I did. How long did it take him to teach you to do that? I really was only up for one lesson. <laughs> one skin. And then I was like, you know what? I think I got it. I think we're good here. It's called uh, Hunger Games. Is that it? Yeah. Wow, now that's, that's one of these uh, e uh, highly anticipated uh, films. Yeah. <laughs> I just got into town. <laughs> we, Josh and I are fo both crazy, and so it's good when we have people that are not crazy to kind of calm us down a little bit, but when Josh and I are together, we're so bad for each other. One time Liam, Josh and I were in his room, we were watching some show about crocodiles, and then we went screaming about Avatar and how upsetting it was that we couldn't live on Pandora, and we couldn't be Avatars no matter how hard we tried, and we were screaming at the top of our lungs before we even realized it, and Liam like ran in. He's like, are you guys all right? And we're both like just totally upset, covering up our faces, like oh, Avatar. Is that a little Australian accent? I heard. That was, I was meant for it to be. <laughs> Do you have a Apparently. boyfriend? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I thought I was supposed to say no, but it just came out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do have a boyfriend. Really? What's he do? Is he an actor? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Really? We're going to lie to say that we no, met well, online or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is well, he a famous we're not, actor? Yeah. We're not going to ask his name, but uh, who is he? <laughs> <laughs> and so it was just you and Tilda Swinton at the table yeah. together? Well, Catherine Zeta-Jones and Michael Douglas were going to be at my table, I thought. They started sitting down, and I was like, oh, my God. And then they were like, oh, wrong table, and turned around and walked away. No. And I was like, no, exactly. Really? That's like when a waiter comes out with, like, amazing food, and you're starving, and they make eye contact with you, and then just walk right past you. <laughs> so Why they did not, do you think they turned around because you guys were there, or do you think it was it just It might have wrong... had something to do with the drooling. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's that one? Is that a vampire deal? No, that's not a vampire deal. That's just um, a very violent, futuristic movie where uh, kids are randomly selected from their home districts to fight in an arena to the death. But we don't drink blood. That's sick. Wow. <laughs> wow, so it's lighter fare. Yeah. <laughs> you Wait, do you say mutant or mutant? Mutants. I started saying mutant when I was there because we were shooting in England, and then a dialect person said I was saying it British. So really? I just say mutant. Oh, mutant. And it's, yeah. Mutant. I got an accent while I was there. <laughs> Did you? You know, a little girl seeing a squirrel well, skin. Well, she lives there. Oh, she does. Yeah, that's her actual, I mean, that's her house and her property and everything. So she was, she was. She skinned them before. Cool as a cucumber. Uh -huh. She was teaching me how to do stuff. Like, oh, really? Yeah, it's telling me, like, don't pull that out. That's, you know, you'll eat that. And I was like, well, I. Okay. <laughs> Oh